All right. Hi, scholars, students. Okay, we're, this is the second video part of our Dale Chihuly's C Forms and Jay Asher's Message in a Bottle article. Okay, so the last video we took we took two two water bottles, a sheet of mylar, and a salad a salad disposable salad bowl. All these are upcycled items that are clean, washed and clean dried and then we started to make late with zip ties and we used also a, a heat a heat wand now we're going to add color so keeping in mind c forms right we're adding nice rich colors such as blues and corals to add to the sculpture you see you're getting all in with your brush there's no wrong way to do this we just want it to look really rich in color like it is actually in the ocean it could be a sea anemone whatever you wish for it to resemble remember you've made sketches so you have an idea of the direction you like to take this okay Most of the base with blue. Try to marriage the pieces together so that the colors kind of make it all look a little more uniform. So, don't be too don't be too um, rough with it because you don't want your pieces to come apart. You don't want the zip ties to to snap. Right? Okay. See, okay, as I'm going in, I think I'm done with the blue. I'm tired of blue now. Rinsing my brush. Drying it on my paper. I'm gonna choose another color for my makeshift palette. I think I'm going to use some green. This is like a, a, a metallic green. And I noticed too, with some of these pieces, I kind of think I want it in, to have more movement. Cause then when we use our heat gun, They'll go in different directions, right? Okay, now add another green over here, over here. Okay, now I'm gonna choose another color. I think add some purples. I'm gonna be sparse with the purple. See, it's very organic. Don't worry about it being too perfect. Because remember what I always tell you nothing in nature is perfect. The fact that it looks different is what makes it look beautiful. And the texture from the from the one of the bottles is adding a lot of visual interest. As I put on the paint, it's really good. And now we're gonna go with the pinks. Even 
paint some of this pink right here, right here. Okay, we're almost done. Almost done. Trying to get enough a little carried away. Just want to use up some more pink. Why not? Right? We don't want to waste. We're all about upcycling, recycling, and using our resources, right? So, why not? Try to use it up. Right? And you saw I didn't have much paint there. I just had a few dots. I just try to use it all on our piece, right? So then, some of this, a little bit of that. Just add, see, look how we're running out. Just add some water to your acrylic paint because we use acrylic paints. And a nice large paintbrush to just, and water, right? To just dabble. So our materials are very simple. Acrylic paint, a paintbrush, large paintbrush, and water to just add color to the sea form. And you see? And see how it came out? It looks very, very sea form like okay? So in our next video, our third and final video, we're going to allow this to dry first. And then the third video, video we're going to show how we're able to melt it and make it look more organic and sea form like Thank you.